Howdy, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So really quickly, um, the Spirit wanted me to share that there's gonna be a generation, not an entire generation, but a, a lot of the generation with a lot of tight faces. They're not gonna be happy with this shift, right? Because um, the generation that's not gonna be happy are the ones that feel like they're set in their ways. They're very old school, very, this is how it is, very Mandalorian style. I have spoken very, you know, just set in their ways, right? And, um, but what the new generation, and this doesn't have to even be about ages or anything like that. It can just be about who you are as an individual, right? Because age ain't nothing but a number and number are, numbers are man-made anyway, too. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, the bottom line to this bottom line is they're not going to be happy because the things that were once accepted on a wide basis are no longer going to be acceptable. They're no longer going to be excused away. They're no longer going to be the status quo. They're no longer going to be just the, the mainstream. Things are shifting. Things are flipping on their heads. Things are being transmuted, alchemized, all of those things, right? And so what I receive is that what this age of light or age of Aquarius, what have you, and I don't even know really what that means, but anyway, um, that's what I receive. What that is doing is it's just transmit transmuting the world. And so those that are stuck in their ways refuse to exit their hell loop and use their hell loop as an excuse to remain the way that they are in terms of mean or stubborn or any of those things they're going to find themselves left behind. Meanwhile, the, the new world is forming with those who are accepting and, and pliable is what I receive, but not in a way where they can be reprogrammed to the means of other people, in a way where they're pliable to strip away any previous programming. And because as I said before, and I will say again a million times, we are the ancestors of the future. So what we do today determines the future of tomorrow. And of course you already knew that, I'm just reminding you. And so now with children, our children's children, they have the, the beautiful pleasure of being brought up by people who are awakened and who no longer allow abuse to be the cornerstone of programming. So <laughs> take what you will, leave what you won't, but either way, the world is about to change.